Welcome everybody to the 1k subscriber Q&A special and as well Merry Christmas to all of you that are watching this maybe on Christmas Eve or on Christmas Day I want to wish you guys who celebrate Christmas a Merry Christmas So I thought to put myself in a festive mood by wearing my Diego Maradona Christmas jumper and a Christmas Santa hat for this special occasion in today's video And before we jump into it I do want to say the last time I'm gonna say this thank you guys so much for hitting such a massive milestone on the channel 1000 subscribers i mean from the bottom of my heart thank you guys so much and let's jump into the questions get you guys in on a rave green tv video we had over like 50 questions that were asked across our social media from instagram twitter to youtube i narrowed it down to about 20 questions because we would be here forever if i had to answer all of those questions so i hand picked out a good handful of them for you all very simple this how old am i for all of you that that don't know how old I am I am 24 years old for the next question that we'll be answering it's coming from a Portland Timbers fan does the Portland Seattle rivalry feel as intense as five to ten years ago to us Timbers fans it feels like the intensity has dropped a bit respect to your channel even though you're a Sounders fan mad respect for the Portland Timbers fan that asked this question for the video and as well I want this to be known even though the Portland Timbers is the Seattle Sounders arch rival I have the utmost respect for that fan base for that team because at the end of the day the stronger they get the more competitive the Cascadia rivalry is the more it ups Seattle's level but in regards to the question that he is asking me does it feel like the rivalry's intensity has dropped in the past five to ten years i would say maybe a little bit more so i would say in the past three years maybe and i would say that's a little bit due to like the sounders own doing because at the end of the day the sounders haven't been able to beat the timbers since 2021 and even worse at home since 2017 and i feel like the timbers show up a lot more for this rivalry match especially for the fact that in these most recent years they've been so up and down with making the playoffs not making the playoffs but regardless they always turn up against the sounders especially with seattle's lack of goals recently we only see those nil nil one nil games unless the portland timbers just absolutely turn the heat up crank it up to an absolute max and then they score like three four goals in the match so i will say maybe not in the past five to ten years but i would say maybe in the past two to three years i would say the intensity has gone down quite a bit i feel like the matches don't hit the same since that 6-2 game back in 2021 i know that's slightly biased because i'm a Sounders fan but there were eight goals in that game and I think fans from both sides would love to see another eight goal thriller in this matchup now moving on to the questions that were asked on YouTube and this question is being asked by my good friend HR Vizoc and if you guys don't know him he is one of the king of the hills when it comes to footy football soccer content on this platform he's asking me would you rather have the seattle sounders win the fifa club world cup or iran have a solid dark horse 2026 world cup campaign so for all of you that don't know i am iranian and i'm a big iranian national team fan and as well as you obviously know i'm a massive seattle sounders fan so these are my two favorite teams in the whole wide world so this is such a tough question to answer but for me personally i feel like i've always prioritized country over club so i would have to say iran making a dark horse run in the 2026 World Cup. I mean, for Iran, I would consider a dark horse run just making it out of the group, making it to the round of 16, because Iran has never made it out of the group, have never played in the round of 16 at any World Cup that they've appeared in. So I would love to see that happen, and hopefully maybe once in my lifetime, we'll see Iran make it to a round of 16 quarterfinal finish at a World Cup. Next question, what team do I hate? I mean, it's very simple. It's LAFC. I think I've mentioned it in countless videos but they are my least favorite team in the whole wide world so i forgot to answer this question when i was recording this video but i was asked plenty of soccer questions being asked what's your favorite cereal and why so i don't really eat cereal anymore but back in the day when i used to be obsessed with having cereal in my breakfast i used to always have cinnamon toast crunch it was a staple back in the day moving on to the questions on instagram what was your first sounders match you watched so for me there's kind of two parts of this question because the first ever match I watched was on TV and that was back in 2012 when the LA Galaxy came to Seattle. It was earlier in that season and Eddie Johnson and Freddie Montero scored that banging long shot. Then later on in the year I went to my first ever Sounders match which again was against the LA Galaxy and I saw the Sounders win 4-0 where there was a plethora of amazing goals from Eddie Johnson, Freddie Montero, Alex Kasky, and Andy Rose. So those were my first ever Sounders matches. Do you support a 
second team or are you Sounders for life? Of course, boys and girls, I am Sounders for life. There isn't really a second team that I watch. Of course, as I mentioned earlier, I'm a big Iranian national team fan, but I don't think you can really correlate country support in the same bracket. But growing up, I was a really big Chelsea fan. They were a big part of why I started watching this sport. But mainly for me, it is literally just Sounders and Iranian national team. Who's the player that got you into soccer? For me, there's kind of three players that got me into the sport. First would be Freddie Montero. He was the biggest reason I became a Sounder supporter. Watching him score those like illustrious goals, the long shots, the volleys, the absolute bangers that he would score for this team really made me fall in love with watching him, watching the Sounders. He's by far my biggest idol when it comes to the Sounders. Then as well, there's Fernando Torres, who I just loved watching his career from Liverpool to Chelsea. Regardless that he was this 50 million pound flop, he still kept banging in goals. He kept trying. And you know what? That was very motivational for me. Regardless of the situation, he still put his right foot forward and he went back home to Atletico Madrid. He was able to have success with his boyhood club that helped him start his career. I don't know. For me, it's kind of like a whole Cinderella story. And then for the third one, it is Ali Reza Jahanbash. He's one of the captains for the Iranian national team. And he's kind of like big inspiration for many Iranian footballers, many Iranian football fans. And when I got the opportunity to meet him, it kind of reinforced everything that I thought about him. He's just a good guy. He truly has a golden heart. And it's just so special to see a one of your fellow countrymen, someone that is from the same country as you, perform at such high levels, be so well respected. Next question is, what made you want to do what you're currently doing? So when it comes to Rave Green TV, this was kind of something I've been thinking about for many, many years. I've been doing content since like 2021, talking about Premier League, MLS, just kind of all over the place. And kind of got my foot in the door with making videos, having a camera set in front of me. So many of these factors and as a Sounders fan growing up, I felt like we didn't really have much like media diversity, different types of points of views talking about the team. And obviously in Europe, there's so many fan channels. It's such a big thing, especially in the Premier League. There's so many various content creators for specific teams, fan channels for specific teams. And here in MLS, obviously now there's like a few, it's becoming a little bit more popularized to have fan channels, to have specific content creators for certain teams. And I felt for the Sounders, we didn't really have that type of person and I had that very viral clip on Arsenal Fan TV and I felt that was a good way to put my foot in the door because I had now a face that fans recognize. Oh, that's the guy who said the Sounders would not lose to Arsenal, this and that. So I felt that would have helped and so I took a little bit of inspiration from the current fan channels that some people have made for their MLS teams that they support from the ones from Europe, from content creators that are specific for certain clubs and with all the knowledge that I've had for the few years of making content, I felt why not go all the way full send and just start a Sounders fan channel, begin something that's different. I mean, we've always listened to Steve Zakawani, Brad Evans, the commentators that the Sounders have had, Sounders at heart, the many reporters that have been reporting the team since the, the, the beginning in 2009. And it was just kind of for me all a little bit granola. It's always the same thing. No one really like popped the question, kind of question the Sounders in certain departments. Most of them would support it. They wouldn't really be like, why did they do that? That. Was that really a good idea? They need to do something about X, Y, and Z. So I wanted to be someone that has that fan's point of view and put out that fan style content where we all know fans might be frustrated about this, but reporters, Sounders and Hard, whoever it may be, are probably not gonna really talk about it because they're affiliated with the Sounders. So I felt it's helped open a lot of doors for fans to be able to voice their opinions and be able to talk about this team in a light where they feel like this needs to change, this needs to be better, this has been good. Good. I'm able to be that funnel for fans to talk about topics that no one else really talks about when it comes to the team. What's your favorite memory and worst memory of any game? I'm gonna assume this is specifically for the Sounders. In regards to my favorite memory by far was going to the 2016 MLS Cup Final. I mean, that feeling that I had when I saw us win the MLS Cup Final, especially in person when Roman Torres banged in that penalty. It was by far the fondest moment to see the Sounders with my own two eyes win MLS Cup in the away ground. It was so cold. It was so nervy for me because I was still a kid. See us win MLS Cup, finally be champions, beat that hurdle, win MLS Cup. It was just spectacular on so many levels. It was a, It's going to be a core memory for the rest of my life. Worst memory would probably be that playoff tie back in 2014 against the LA Galaxy. Janino scored the banger goal that knocked us out 
based on away goals where that could have been the Sounders year to win MLS Cup and not only that be the first MLS team to win the treble I mean that team was so stacked the Obafemi Morans Clint Dempsey duo was absolutely cracked back then our team was just complete from top to bottom I mean it was just such a historic season and for me it was just such a bummer that we weren't able to at least make it to an MLS Cup final especially because I felt like we outplayed the Galaxy over those two legs but Donovan got his fairy tale ending and it just it just made me really upset next one what made you get into soccer football and specifically the sounders so growing up i didn't really play soccer i played tennis ping pong i competitively swam i played chess so a lot of just completely different things to soccer and then i kind of got interested in the sport at 11 12 which is a lot later for most kids i had some friends in school that would play fifa that were kind of interested in the sport so of course i wanted to play fifa i wanted to get to know the sport a little bit more i wanted to play it a little bit but guys i was a very chubby be brown kid back in the day absolutely unathletic so when i played soccer i was absolutely terrible at it but regardless of how bad i was i still really liked the sport even though i was way better at like ping pong tennis chess swimming soccer was the sport that i was most interested in that i actually wanted to pursue a little bit more in any avenue possible playing learning more about it whatever it may be and then i was watching the 2012 champions league final between chelsea and bayern munich and kind of that was the game that got me me hooked to the sport i mean that game had so much emotions if you guys have never watched it i would highly recommend you watching the highlights that game was just such a cinderella story and i was like if this is what soccer is all about sign me up so then my interest started growing i started learning about mls and then i watched my first sounders game which i spoke about earlier was the game against the la galaxy where we won 2 nil, and freddie montero scored that 35 yard screamer and i was like holy smokes who is that guy and i like why watching the Sounders and then I learned more about MLS I went to my first Sounders game later on in that year and then became a season ticket holder the following year in 2013 and I haven't really looked back we're keeping the question Sounders related who is the best player in my opinion currently on the squad I would definitely say Jao Paulo of all time it's probably Ladero but for me personally I'm always gonna say Freddie Montero but the best individual player the Sounders have ever had is by far Obafemi Marins the classic who is better Messi or Ronaldo and why for me personally, I wasn't really much of a Messi or Ronaldo guy. I wasn't really that into either one of them or really honestly into the rivalry between the two of them. I'm not Argentinian or Portuguese or watched Barcelona or watched Real Madrid or Manchester United. So it wasn't something that I really cared much for, but I do think the obvious answer is Messi. If you think otherwise, you probably need to go speak to your doctor. Next question, do I play soccer drum roll please of course I do. What kind of content creator, what kind of soccer fan would I be if I didn't play myself? I do very much play soccer. And if any Sounders players are watching this video and want to challenge me to a 1v1, let's make it happen. If I were to play pro, what position would I choose? And if possible, what club would I choose? Growing up, I played right back and as well played on the right or left wing because I could use both feet. So I would say somewhere in that area, probably right wing or right back. And what team would I play for? Honestly, any professional team in MLS, I would play from any professional team in the Premier League, Serie A, La Liga, whoever. But if I had my own choice, definitely it would obviously be the Sounders. For the final question, what is something that I find most enjoyable about the Sounders? I think there's a multitude of things that I find enjoyable when it comes to the Sounders. I'm not sure if I'm exactly answering the question the way this person was asking it. But for me, when it comes to the sport and especially the Sounders, you're able to to connect with so many people from different backgrounds from different parts of the world because of this sport it's like its own universal language i've made so many friends i've met so many amazing people because of this sport and when it comes to the sounders being a part of a community being there to support your local team to you know if you ever practice at starfire you can go see your professional team meet the players and things like that the fact that we have those opportunities that this organization gives us this team gives us those opportunities to meet this team 
team and the players love to meet their fans. I think it's just so special. Fans, the people you get to connect with, the places I've been able to go because of going to away Sounders games, I probably would have never seen myself go to Chicago, go to Kansas City, go to all of these places. But because of Sounders games, I got to travel to new places, see different things, learn about different places in the United States because it makes it so much more special. You go to this state, you get to go see your team play. And then as well, you're obviously there for a couple of days. You get to see different parts of the United States that you've never seen before because Washington is a completely different place. So I would say that's the most enjoyable part about the Sounders for me. But boys and girls, that's gonna be the end of today's video. Thank you guys so much for each and every single one of you that submitted a question for this Q&A. Don't worry if I did not answer your question. We will have hopefully another Q&A on this channel for another milestone that will hit on this channel. Thanks to you all. And again, I wanna wish you all a Merry Christmas. I hope you all get some amazing gifts, especially some Sounders gifts because we all know those are the upper echelon gifts you can get for Christmas. Enjoy the time off and boys and girls, I hope you all have a lovely day.